To help visualize movements across a map, I like to use some basic animated lines. I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. So first you go over here and you grab the pin tool and you turn off the fill and then you set the stroke to solid color and I'll set that to white, maybe with a brightness of like 90% and I have a stroke width of five. Now with the pen tool, let's say I wanna draw, or I wanna visualize some movement coming from Spain and going over to Eastern Europe. So I'm gonna click over here on Spain and as I click, I drag it out to add these Bezier handles. And now I'll have my path go over here. Now I can tweak these to give me a little bit of a curve here. Okay, so now we've got this line here. I wanna animate this. So to do that, I'm gonna go over here to my shape layer that was created, click on the add menu, and then add a trim paths animator. Now this consists of four simple parameters. We're gonna be playing with the start and end parameters. So the end defaults to 100. If I bring this down, you can see it's trimming the end of our path, and the start defaults to zero. And if I bring this up, you can see it's trimming the start of our path. To bring this to life, I just need to animate both of these at the same time. So I'm gonna bring my playhead to the beginning, I'm gonna add a keyframe to both start and end, and I'm gonna bring it over to about two seconds, and we'll bring them both up to 100. Now since they're trimming at the same time, we're not gonna see anything if I play this back. However, if I offset the end, if I bring the end out ever so slightly, now you're gonna see that we have this cool animated line. Now there are a ton of ways to add variation to this particular animation and to make it more dynamic and more visually interesting. First up is with the timing of these keyframes. So if I go over here, I'm gonna grab all these keyframes and go to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. That's gonna smooth this animation out a bit. So now look at the difference. Now we're just you know coming in and out much more smoothly. I could change this look even further by grabbing all these keyframes and going to the graph editor. And right now we're looking at the speed graph. And if I grab Start, I can play with the influence here and have it really animated and fast at the beginning and then grab my end parameter, and now check this out. We've kind of created opposites here. So the start is gonna animate on really quickly and slow down. The end is gonna animate on very slowly and then get fast at the end, so they're doing the opposite. So I can actually line these up perfectly now and check out the look of this animation. So now I have a completely different look, and I can even offset these again. If I do that, this line is gonna be up completely for just a little bit. Another cool look is to duplicate these and then slightly change the look. So I'm gonna change the blend mode here to overlay, and that's gonna give me this kind of really light looking line here that blends in nicely. And watch what happens now if I duplicate this and then I slightly offset the layer. Now you're gonna have a very cool look. We're having like variations in the opacity here. This looks a little bit more intense and then it kind of fades off here. And now I can duplicate this one and just hit the G key to grab one of these vertices here and then switch back to selection tool once I've selected them. And now I can just change the path here. Now we're gonna have even more looks and I could slightly change, you know, the thickness of this line, make it, you know, and offset it in time a little bit. And I could even go in and play with the keyframes and let's say we wanna take, you know, we wanna take out that speed graph, so bring it back down to easy ease and then offset it. And then I can keep doing this as much as I want until I get the look that I like. Big shout out to my tier three patrons, Tyson the Keymaster, Samir Mahdi, Mike and Sandra over at YouTube, at Flumi Plus One, and Josh. Thanks again, folks, for making this video possible. I actually created an animation preset that I'm gonna make available for free download. I wrote some expressions that allow you to just quickly double click on the, on the effect here. And now it has, it's basically gonna animate on. It's gonna trim on this way, right at the beginning of your layer. And then wherever you trim your end of your layer to, it will animate out. And the cool thing about this is that if I trim this down to like two seconds in length or one second, watch this, it'll quickly animate on like this. And now I can just grab the edges here and move them around as I want. And if I you know, use the pen tool, I can convert these vertex to you know, give you some different looks. Real quick and easy. And since I'm working inside of geo layers, it's important that I actually connect all these lines to the map. So to do that, I can grab all of them here and then I can parent them to my anchor of my world map comp and then set them all to 3D. And now no matter what I do, if I pivot the map like this inside of geo layers, those are gonna stay on the map and they're gonna rotate with the map, which is really cool. So now if I zoom in, we'll get like a different angle here. And it's beautiful. 
One workflow rule that I really like to adhere to is to leave the animation of the actual camera for the last step. So you want to animate all your elements on your map first and like attach them to your map so that at the very end you can animate the map and you won't have to worry about any of those objects you know, not being connected because trying to connect something to a map that's keyframed and flying around can be a little bit difficult. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to download this project file, I'm going to make it available over on my Patreon page as well as that animation preset that I showed you. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.